Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create data pipeline in Data Factory of Microsoft Fabric. So let's get started. Basically, a data pipeline allows us to copy, move, or transform data from a source to a destination. Let's see how to do this in the data factory. So this is Microsoft Fabric welcome page. I'm going to click on this Power BI and create a workspace. So click on my workspaces and choose new workspace. I'm just going to call it new data pipeline and then click apply. That's going to create the workspace. All right, so I'm going to switch from the Power BI experience to the data factory. Click on that. And then we can see we have the data flow gen two, which is Power Query Online and the data pipeline. So I'm going to click on data pipeline. And then I need to give a name for the pipeline. Let's just call it um, first data pipeline and then click create see start building your data pipeline now we can add pipeline activity or copy data or choose a task to start so we just want to copy data from a source to a destination click on copy data and then in the copy data dialog box we can choose the source now there are so many sources here from the sample data in parquet csv json file and so on and so forth and of course, you can even connect to different sources like the Amazon RDS for SQL Server. We can connect to Amazon S3, Azure Blob Storage, and so on. Anyway, we want to connect to this data, COVID-19 data lake. So click on that and choose next COVID-19 data file. We can see different kind of tables such as Bing COVID-19. And we can see COVID-19 tracker. European Center for Disease Prevention and Control, and of course, Oxford COVID-19 Government Response Tracker. We want to connect to this European Center for Disease Prevention and Control, and then we can choose the format either from CSV, which is 1.5 megabytes, or we can choose from the JSON, JSON line or parquet file. We want to go with the CSV, so click on that and choose next. And then we need to choose the data destination we can see the first is the data source connect to the actual data source and then choose the data destination now i want to actually load into a lake house so i'm going to choose lake house and then click on next now we can choose to dump the data in an existing lake house if we have any we can choose to create a new lake house so i'm going to just create a new lake house and just call it covid19 data set and then click next in the next page we have the root folder now i can choose tables or file so we want to go with the table and of course i can optionally load to a new table or an existing table so i want to dump it in a new table and then i can rename this default name but this is fine and very importantly we can see the color mapping so we can perform some things here we can see these are the source columns and then the type now we can change some of them from string to date and some other data types. I'm just going to click on next and then we can see the step. We want to copy from this file, from this location. And then we have, this is going to be the destination, the lake house. And then we can see the source and the sample data set, the destination, um, connection name as well as the table name so we can choose to start data transfer immediately or maybe later but this is fine just click on save and run and then we can see gathering your new changes and start we can see successfully running force data pipeline and then we can see under the output at the bottom here we can see the pipeline run id we can see the pipeline status and then we can see the activity name which is to copy data we can see the status the run start the duration the input and output so we're just going to wait for some few seconds to see the activity status there we go so we can see it succeeded 
successfully run the first pipeline. That's quite amazing. So we've been able to transfer the data from the source into the lake house. And then we can go back to the workspace here yeah, and come back in and double click. And there we go. We can see the pipeline that we established and the data is now in the lake house. Let's click on it. And then wait for the data to load. Okay, so there we go. So we can see COVID-19 underscore data set, and then we can see all the tables which is loading anyway. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna to come to the workspace. We can begin to even write SQL in the SQL analytics endpoints. So when I click on that, that's gonna open the SQL endpoints to write queries against the data. So we can see loading your SQL analytics endpoint metadata. And there we go. So I can click on new SQL query. So I'm gonna write select star from ECDC underscore cases. I can say where country and territories equal to inside single quote Australia. All right. And then we can terminate the statement and click on run. Okay, so there we go. So this is the output of the query. And then we can see there are 350 records where the countries and territories is equal to Australia. So this is basically how we can connect from a data source and load the data into a destination using the data pipeline in Data Factory. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, share with your friends and comment. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.